All right, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever time it may be as you're watching this video. This is your boy Big Cell, and I'm showing you some behind the scenes footage of when we were filming OGs on Chrome. We stopped by my sister and uh, brother's house, Ron and D, in Arizona. And while she was cooking dinner, this conversation came up. This conversation was interesting to me because it was talking about parenting, you know, and how me personally don't think that people give credit to bad parenting. Bad parenting allows us to be who we end up becoming, whether it be good or bad. At the same time, it's our responsibility. You know, I'm not one of the people that blame parents for how I grew up or my good or my bad. It was all, I believe, designed by you. You had the power to direct your future. This conversation gets a little, you know, uh, a little deep. So if you if it's too much for you to listen to. Or, or watch or whatever then please disregard or you know don't hold this against us but this is us being us behind the scenes camera rolling no holes bar um we were not mad at each other so this is not an argument um this is just us being us man we have these kind of debates and i love them personally because we get a chance to get deep um and we get a chance to just express and let go sometimes and sometimes that's all that's needed but I wanted to share this conversation with you um, and my man Ricky on this one. He was brand new to the whole family, so he was kind of standoffish. And you'll see that, you know, how he really doesn't chime in, you know, and when he does, he has some strong points as well. But I just wanted to share this conversation with you, man, because it was awesome. I think it's needed amongst us, amongst all of us, every chance we get. And after this, we broke bread, had a good time and went on about it, and as we always do. So nobody was upset in this video. Nobody was you know, heated about nothing or didn't like nobody afterwards. Just pure grown folks conversation that needed to be had. Um, and it was just cool. I don't, like I said, we, these are just type of the things that happen when we get together. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you, you can listen to it. I hope you can stand through the whole thing. I think it's awesome. Um, and again, nobody, you cannot blame anybody for your destiny. Whatever God has for you is for you. And a lot of times we redirect God's direction for us because of our own situations and our own choosing. So understand that. That's how I feel about it. Hey, it's, uh, put your questions on the page. It's open for, you know, debate. And it's just some good conversation. So hope you enjoy it. And again, thank all of you guys that love me. Thank you for watching FHO. Um, YouTube channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for now, doing I, let my, I would love for her to be my inspiration to be great. You was my. I need to get the fuck away from these people because I don't like them and they mean. So what was God? In, in, in me. I, I didn't go to, my mother didn't go to church. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you believe in God, you I believe in destiny, and so with God, my destiny is predetermined before I'm even in this. So earth. it had nothing to do with your mother. Listen. Listen, I'm not saying, that's what I'm saying. My success had nothing to do with my mother. And what I'm it saying, did, listen, listen, no. Listen, please listen. What I'm saying to you is that if these people that I had not met in my life journey, I had not met them, I wouldn't be who I am. I was raised by the village. I give back. I do things for less fortunate. I see things and try to be an inspiration to people. I try to be something that they need or because they don't get it, right? I'm not, I don't hate my mother. My mother did the best she could with what she knew. It just wasn't what was both. It just wasn't what I needed. I was, was a kid. Listen, no, 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 no. I needed hugs. I needed a motherfucker to say, you doing good. You, this is nice. I needed that. I didn't need every fucking conversation that I had with you. So this is what I was going to say. My mother made 65 years old and I did not drink, right? Mm -hmm. They like to, my family have a tradition where the night before their birthdays, they get drunk and toast in their birthday at midnight, right? This is what they do. Come midnight, everybody got to go ask the champagne. I freaking hate champagne, even to this day. I just never liked it. I'm like, wait, hold on, y'all. Give me some orange juice. Ain't nobody toasting no damn orange juice in this house. It's my 65th birthday. We all are drinking champagne. I'm not drinking champagne, mama. I don't drink. Do you know what I'm saying? So why are you cooking a party up? 
It's my mother's birthday. I'm at my mother's house. Don't drink champagne. No, I'm not drinking no motherfucking champagne. Okay, well but here, here, but this is what happened. <laughs> but let me tell you, this was a, I didn't speak with my mom for three years after this. Okay. So my mother comes over to me and swing on me. I got two motherfucking kids. I'm a grown woman. Okay. Mm. I just grab her hand and I tell my sister, "Come get your mama." Mm. Why? What you gonna do? If she? I say, if she hit me, I'm gonna knock her monkey ass out. Cause you disrespected me as a grown ass woman. Whether you my mother or not, we owe each other respect. Mm. So if I'm in a situation because I don't want to do something that I perceive to be negative or harmful to me, you gonna try to force me. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the mentality that you can force even the bad things about yourself on your child who's trying to do better. Baby, we celebrating. It's yes. my birthday. Everybody that's celebrating with me on my birthday, I'm taking a shot of Hennessy. Yeah. Gonna take a shot I'm not of drinking. If you ain't gonna take a shot of Hennessy, get the fuck out of my house. And guess what I did after yeah. they came and got their mama? Yeah. I left and didn't speak to my mama for three motherfucking years. Not a problem. And you know, you know, want to know what happened yeah. when we started speaking again? Yeah. So, though she was a horrible mother to me growing up, she was a wonderful grandmother. So all those things that I missed out, I, I, I had, if, as long as I worked, my mama kept my kids. As long as I was in school, she supported that issue. After I'm at a certain place in my life, right? Mm -hmm. After I'm in working class. Now, I never transferred my kids out of the area where I grew up and my mother, I lived in the suburbs, I worked downtown, I dropped them off, they go to school, I go to work, I pick them up. I did that for three fucking years. Stood outside, blue, called my kids, right? My mother came on the porch and said, D, and I said, yep. And she said, can I talk to you for a minute? I said, absolutely. I got out of the car and went up to the porch. And she said, I feel like you got a lot of nerve that you ain't spoke to me in three years, but you will drop your kids off over here every day and pick them up and not say nothing to me. And I said, do you not want me to bring them? Cause I could just not bring them. I couldn't get a sitter. I could drop them off over there. You know what I mean? But I didn't want to impede on their relationship with their grandmother. She loved them and they loved her. And then she says, well, I don't get it. I say, well, I feel like you owe me an apology and you were out of line when you tried to fight me at your party. And until you apologize to me, I'm done with you. And she said, I'm sorry, I was wrong. And I was like, okay, we're cool. And, I, and that was it. I didn't harbor no ill feelings or anything, but all through my life, I resented my mother because she was a mean person. And then I think too, you gotta look at it like this. If I'm a drug dealer, I'm a drug dealer. You gotta be gangster. Like I said, my mom was an OG. If people come and borrow money, when she see them, bitch, where my money? Woo, 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 woo. But if I'm, my parents are a generation older than me. So when the age my parents are is the age of my friends, grandparents, because they had me when they were older, right? So I see my friend mama and my mama like, Bitch, boo boo boo, but this is my friend mama, my mama being mean to. So a kid that's eight or nine years old don't see that you gotta be this thug person because of that lifestyle you're choosing. They just see their mother being mean and evil to somebody. And then you already feel like they that to you. So that was the cycle of me and my mother's life. You see what I'm saying? Um, I hear you, I got you. Me personally. Mama don't owe you shit, you don't owe mama shit. I, 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 I never said I owed her nothing. Yeah, I just said that saying. she don't get to take credit for nothing that I did. But her being a horrible... Not. Because it had, she, she, she didn't make me shit. She birthed me and that was it. That's what I'm saying. I never heard an inspirational word from her. I never heard encouragement. It wasn't her assignment, I, me. I never heard encouragement. It wasn't before. her gift from God. And it ain't, it and it ain't her right. It wasn't and her, it ain't her, it wasn't right her to take credit. God didn't tell her, hey, go get the encouraging word. God said, you're going to treat her like this so that these people can treat her like this. God don't tell nobody to do nothing bad. Huh? That God don't tell nobody to do nothing bad. So Satan told her to do that? Hey, her will. Okay, so God, God, let, God let Satan listen. tell her, go treat D bad, because I got an angel that's going to come save God you. God like gives you free 
look, God gives you free will and he gives you that because he wants you to choose to do what's right. What I'm saying, so God allows Satan. You know my pot. God, 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 God allows Satan to tell you. Give me my soda. Ron, stop. Come on, baby, let's come. I'm talking. I know, but let's, let's, we gotta get up in a minute. I'm gonna be good. I'll sleep on the plane. Get come my on, soda. Come on, baby, come on. Okay, I'll be up in a minute. Come on, I'll get you stuff. No disrespect to y'all, but she gotta go. <coughs> Dude, I gotta drive. Uh, that's right. This nigga ate the goddamn good ass soup that I know that that motherfucker. It's funny. You yeah, had a couple noodles? No, he had that shit we had from Snappy, whatever that, uh, yeah. the baby cane. Yeah. The baby cane, the one. I had that shit in your bag. Some more gumbo. Hey, I put it in your bag. I'm gonna give you one episode. I'm gonna get, listen, I'm gonna tell you one grown ass episode. I am 22 years old. I got two motherfucking kids. I got two kids, right? My mother making 65. 65. My mom was an old G, though, right? 65 years old, I did not drink. Okay. I was a college student, I was an athlete. I ain't I ain't associate with none of that. I'm because home. you saw it when you were small. No, we, listen. They don't, they, I, I saw a lot of shit. I just chose this way instead of that way. None of the things that I did outside of doing better came from my mother. I was about the Victoria. My mama didn't come to my motherfucking graduation. She ain't never been to one of my basketball games. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? But, but that's what I'm saying. Mm. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I feel it. No, no, no. She was proud of me, but I, she didn't encourage me. It, it, this is what I'm trying to tell you. We had niggas to come for the night and that. Because of that, though, see? No. Because of that, you was determined to be better no, no, no. than everybody. Let, let me tell you. No, no, no. Let me tell you why. Listen. Listen. Let, no, that's not why. I can tell you. Let me. Listen. Let me tell you, you why. You don't think so. No. Let me tell you why. Because I had a godmother and a best friend who every motherfucking weekend came and got me. Out of that environment. Wait, hold on. Okay. Because I, my godfather was a basketball coach and I was talented. That put me in tournaments. That paid for me to go to camp. You understand what I'm saying? That showed me. If, if it wasn't for those people, I would not have had the opportunity or seen the things that I saw or knew that the environment I was in was an incorrect but one. If, I felt But un- listen to what I'm saying. It was because of because of your mama not being a mama, those people were able to come into your life. And no, you- it's because I was Talented. That ain't got shit. Oh, she don't get to y'all. Listen, let me tell y'all something. I see now. Hold on, let me, let me, yeah, hold on. Let me jump in. I, I, that last sentence you yeah. said, I understand what, what he said. I understand what he's saying, but it ain't, but, it ain't but, true for me. Yeah, it I ain't true for me. Can't, uh, look, a good, look, a good mother. A good mother sees you a talented person, they still allow you to participate in those things, right? Let me tell you what happened. I'm getting ready to go to high school. Mm-hmm. I got three offers. I can go to any motherfucking top three school, red division in the city. At Marshall, okay. Whitney, uh, everybody want me, right? I go to, I'm the whole, since sixth grade, I'm playing with Robinson High School, right? You can play up. Yeah. This lady, Gloria Reeves, I was the demonstrator for the Doug Bruno's girls basketball camp. Mm-hmm. Gloria came and got me and sent me to camp. I could go there two or three weeks because I demonstrated all the drip, drip. The day before I needed to commit to high school, my mother made me go somewhere else. You ungrateful. You don't need to go to that school. You listen to your other three daughters, all these motherfuckers dropped out. You ain't gonna let me go to the school I want to go to. I resent her. That still played a role in who you are today. It played a role in me getting the fuck away from my family. Thank listen, you. Listen. Thank you. But that ain't shit. That's not a good parent pushing me you away. You never said she was a good parent. No. I never argued she was a good parent. Listen, she don't get no credit. Do you know why I'm not on drugs? Do you know why I've never taken any drugs ever in my life besides smoking a little weed? Just- you know why? Because I saw my auntie get high and lose her motherfucking mind, and I said, oh, no, I, I don't know. Hey, Wait, no, let, let, me, let me tell because you. Because Auntie Pauline to me Listen. was the baddest auntie that I ever had, was my love and my pride and joy. Mm-hmm. And when she did that shit and flipped the fuck out, mm-hmm. I said, oh, no, I ain't never, yes. you ain't never got a problem with that. Let, but, the same thing for alcohol. My, 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 my dad and mom never drank or smoked, but, but so, my uncles did. But I saw how it fucked them up. I said, oh, I ain't fucking with that. My mama raised 17 kids. Why I'm the only one? What you mean? Why, why, why didn't it, why, why, what my environment 
made me do this and didn't make the other ones do it. And what she did was okay. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because mm -hmm. because of the opposite of what she gave you, D, the, uh, everything that she took from you, it came to you on your own spirit and your own free will. See, the problem is the problem I got with the black mother. Mm -hmm. Same thing. The problem I got with the black mother is that you don't understand. I'm, I'm a nigga that's been in the street. I done had 14 stitches I've for the police. The I done had the police pull me over. Uh, uh, what they call that shit? Racial profile. Me I done had too. the police dis disrespect me. I done had all that. But I, I got able, harassed because I was my able family to was. deal with that though mm -hmm. because of the ass whooping that my dad gave me. That made me tougher, stronger, and it made me understand yeah. that I can get over anything. And I'm not going to do with ass. Now, I, I got ass whoopers for peeing in the bed for being scared of the dark. I didn't get ass whoopers for being dis for disciplining I mean, me for doing all mad shit. I got ass whoopers for peeing on us. That, that was that, you know, that, that's I, natural shit. If I got a kid that's scared of the dark, I'm going to leave a motherfucking nightlight on. Oh, no. You I'm gonna, gonna leave get, the bathroom You're gonna get used to being in the dark, goddammit. You're gonna get you gonna get over that. You, I, I'm still scared of the dark to this day. But that's a choice because you're grown. No, now, that's you, because I now, have, you get grown, have fear. When you get grown, <laughs> when you get grown, you can be scared of the dark. But as a kid in my house, you can't be scared of the dark. But you, you can't and that's the shit I'm talking about. I'm so you, you you nurture your kids. You don't fucking I don't, don't listen. No. I don't fuck out of here. Right. No, I don't nurture no. shit. My kids right your, your my son. I just no told way. you what I did to my son in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Put that nigga ass clean but he the fuck out. Now. He's not, it don't matter. Queen yeah. was devastated. And then I'm like, what the fuck is you crying for? Ain't even else to still. Yeah. Man, just give him another That's chance. It. Ain't no more. Understand this. The, the only thing my dad has ever done for me was support whatever decision and whatever road I went down. If it was a fucked up road, hey, son, you, you, you got it? You Listen. good? I, I get it. I don't get me wrong. You. My you mother good. loved hey, son, me. You got it. <laughs> my mother, my mother loved me. She just didn't love me how I needed to be loved and but, nurtured and that's as the a best child. Thing that ever happened it's to not you. because you grow up broken. You grow up motherfucking oh, broken. You do, nigga. Your so parents you kill blame, your spirit. You can't blame your. You can't blame your future on their past. That's why she can't accept my motherfucking success. Same difference. If I can't blame her for my failure, she don't get accept your success, D. No. You got people right now around you that can't accept. You got motherfuckers that you work for that can't accept your success. But I, so why do you, why your mama, why do you feel like your she, mother has to? I'm saying she, she don't. No, I'm not saying she got to accept. I'm saying she don't get credit for it. I'm not who she I am because of what credit. she didn't she, do. You can't never take the credit from I, her. She get credit for birth of me. Okay. That's she it. Because everybody that has she kids should be parents. She credit for making you the strong woman that you are today. Everybody who has kids should not be parents. What if she would have loved you like you want? Bitch, you, think I, you, that? you think you would have loved that? I would have got greater sooner. You think so? Yes. You can't. Indeed. You, know, you don't know that. I, so my destiny is great. Listen, listen. Those people would have made your life that gave you those opportunities. Listen. Either. Well, one night, I still you wish I, I still you had a godfather that was a coach. I was still talented. They didn't take you from her. They didn't take you from her. If you got, you got, say you got a kid, you got a prodigy, right? Yeah. It's a whole I, lot of prodigies that don't make it because their parents listen, listen. or their parents. So, so if I got a child that has an opportunity to be great in this area oh, as a parent, why the fuck would I not allow this person to participate in I'm band sure. if you're the greatest major I'm not right now, thank you, Jesus. Most of your motherfucking successful athletes, 90% of all your successful athletes come from broken homes. No. I, I, Shit! I, That's what, look it up! Listen, listen, look it up! Listen, 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 James! Right, right, right. Uh, right. Fucking what's a, what's James, a broken home? Uh, what's what, a broken home? What I'm saying is, all of them had bullshit going on in their home. I'm not saying that! Not, 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 no. not broke up. I'm telling them, I'm telling a motherfucker that's trying to tell you you're not good enough. Good, I'm that's you, what I'm talking about. That motherfucker keep putting you in situations LeBron to James, fail. LeBron James' mama did not believe in him. His coach, I, the coach who believed in him, took him away from the house, I don't, got him in a listen, whole other environment. Listen, listen, I'm not, listen. I, I know my mama proud of me. I know she was proud of me. I know that she didn't want she wanted me to be great. You understand? I know that. What I'm saying is the skill set that my mother had from how she came up and how her life was didn't match what I needed as a child. It is not my job as a child to have to adjust to a faulty parent. It is a, if you got nine motherfucking kids, you might gotta give them all something different because you have to know what they need 
from you as a parent. Yeah, but understand this. How you know your mom wasn't tired? How you know she that wasn't tired? That ain't my problem. And that's what I'm talking about. But it ain't my problem if, your, if, my, if my son or daughter don't make it, nigga. It ain't my problem. I didn't say that. It ain't my motherfucking problem. I never if, said if that. Son, God, if my son God. get on crack and become a crackhead, it ain't my fault. You right. If my daughter, if my daughter go to selling pussy, it ain't my fault. Listen. Sam, check this out. I got, I got a brother that can, can't read or write, right? Yeah. He can't read or write because when my mama get up and go to work before they start living street life, yeah. the motherfucker go hide on the roof. You can't read or write because you kept ditching motherfucking school, okay. right? Now, at some point, she should have realized this motherfucker ain't going to school though. How about, how about, okay, so you, so what you gonna tell me now is that that's her fault? No, no, no. I oh. just said he can't read and write because he was dodging. Oh, okay. Like, a, like, now, if you, you said at some point, point, but at some point, you said at some point, she should have realized it. You're right. If you, I, I, listen, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. If your kid fell first grade because mm -hmm. he ain't doing his homework, mm -hmm. it's the parent fault, exactly. right? Now, hell yeah, because if I'm six years old and I got homework, my parent need to encourage me to do it and check my shit and help me. That's homework, right? Now. Who, are, who homework is it? The kid. Okay. The kid. I'm just checking. The I, kid I, I, is six, he's so, six, he's six years old. I thought it was a parent. Listen, because hold on, let, let me finish, let okay. me finish. This is six year old first grade. Okay. It's the parent's job, right? No, you know what the parent's job is? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Stop, please, let me talk, Ron. Let go me ahead, finish. Go ahead. Now, if you fail freshman year, cause by now you fucking 15 years old, 14 years old, you know you need to be doing homework, you know you need to go to class, that shit can slip in really quick. But the difference of a 14 year old have to repeat a grade and not have a learning disability and a fucking six year old, that's a parent issue. No. Oh yeah, the fuck no. it is. A parent no. job ain't to bring you in the world and feed you and call you, that's bullshit. A parent job, did, did, were you getting rained on? Were you starving? Were you getting uh, abused? But you might be getting raped because you don't oh, got okay, raped so fucking you getting, supervision. Were you getting raped? I got a motherfucking rape baby. Were you getting, baby. Were, were you you getting, understand uh, what I'm saying? I wasn't protected. Were you getting... Uh, you see, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You people can talk that shit, but when the motherfucker that's your buying later, your mama love you, oh, you should have married him. That motherfucker violated me. Why should I marry him? Cause you liked him, cause he was my boyfriend. Just cause you my boyfriend and I ain't ready don't mean you get to take so shit how from was me. So how was he your boyfriend and he violated you? Cause I wasn't fucking, that's why. No means no. no, no. no. what I'm saying, okay, so this one. I dated a guy for three years, eighth grade through 15. So uh, eighth grade, you, you, you dated a boyfriend. I had a boyfriend. Okay, and the eighth grade. Correct. You had a boyfriend, your choice, not oh, your mama's oh, choice. No, it, my, we had, my, my boyfriends could come sleep and spend the night in our house. That don't my make it right. Day. Your mama let him! That don't make it right, D! Hey, listen, let me tell you something. My daughter's one bringing no nigga in my motherfucking house. That don't make it right? The, what you mean? It's, it's right. That's the rules of your house. The, that don't make it right. So, D, I know it wasn't right. That's what I'm telling okay, you. Okay, but D, that's your fault. That ain't your mama's fault. It's my fault I got right. It's your fault you dated a nigga and ain't it ain't right. Yes. No, you ain't what what is dating? I'm just, whatever the fuck you was doing in eighth grade with the nigga. You like that's a boy. You like a boy. That's it. Cause I wasn't sexually active. D. I wasn't. At some point in time, he was your boyfriend. Eighth grade, ninth grade, or tenth. Grade. Yeah, but that it wasn't. No, that's what you called it. Yeah, that's that's what you call it. You dating somebody. That ain't your mama fault. It it's, it ain't my mama fault. That what? That you called him a boyfriend. It, and that you was with the nigga. You chose the nigga. That ain't your mama no, fault. No, that's you 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 taking it out of context. You taking it out of context. I'ma say this again. For all, everybody, and everybody in here, let me tell you. I mean, I, I would like to, to go ahead and after you go ahead and finish your um, point. What I'm saying to you is that as a parent, you bring this child in this world. Job done. Then, then, when, then, then do this. When you have a motherfucking kid, go sit him on the motherfucking stump. If you're, if you're, if, 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 how about fuck protecting? Don't bring, what, what don't, 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 don't bring that What I'm the saying is this. What I'm saying is this. We owe our children nothing but whatever we can give That's them. That's a selfish ass That's person. So, you can call so, them yeah, whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, and it's wrong. Let me jump. Let me jump. Go ahead. Let me, go let ahead. me jump in in this right, point. Right. 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 You're dead wrong. So. And I say there's points I agree with, there's points I agree with. I disagree with 
oh, I I birthed you. That's it. Then, you got a you warm know, you got head, a roof, house, yeah. Or whatever, and that's that's it. You don't protect me. You no, don't do none I, of this. I disagree because if you take that same concept or whatever like that, let's just say uh, you you go to jail or whatever. Yeah, they gonna uh, uh, you know put a roof over your head, whatever, whatever, whatever. Three meals a but day. Three meals a day. But they <laughs> still have to take care of you. Right. Now, it's, it's not the best situation, but they got to make sure you got your medicine. No, no. It, yes, oh, they yeah, do. I've been there. there. No, what? I've been there. I, I, I'm right. Yeah, but you yeah. wasn't in there. I'm the nigga that was in that motherfucker for 15 years. I'm the nigga that was in that motherfucker for 15 years. Okay, well, you're in jail, you know, just, I'm sorry, I'm taking right. how you living. Right. No, you cannot just allow that to just happen. Okay. You have to okay. have some things you, in you place. Do, hold on, because yeah. you do know in the state of Texas, this is the governor that got the nigga wearing the pink this, panties in farming. That's they, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But if they don't grow their crops, these niggas don't eat it. Listen, listen. That's huh? here. Listen. That's, huh? jo that's a joke. Yeah. That's here oh. in Arizona. Okay. The pink shit, the yeah. panties. That so was if Arizona. they don't grow their food, he the, been sued and lost his job. I don't give a fuck. So, uh, but, but, going back to, I, I'm going to bring my personal situation in. Parents do not, just because you birthed me, that, that does not mean you're entitled to my success. Correct. At all. A lot of parents would, for whatever reason, have these disjointed or you know, really messed up views of what a, of what being a parent is. You cannot box every kid into or not capable. And, right. and and be like, okay, this works for you. This works for you. It like it, y'all all gonna do the same thing, and that that's just how it is. Correct. She like she said she she was scared of it though. You know what I'm saying? It might have been something. I whatever, have for whatever what reason, is. triggered her. I'm really scared. Of scared. Of no. Shit, I can't. Yo, so I got a pair. Of, so I got a pair of highlight bill because you want to sleep with the light. That's, on that's not. Get a job. Listen, listen <laughs> hold on. That's not what I'm saying. Right. But. But the why the consequence got to be the kid? Why the consequence can't be for the parent? Why it got to be for the kid? So who well, gets why? Why? So <laughs> so. I'm not saying you got to uh, spin a, a, a highlight bill or whatever. But as a parent, you still need to acknowledge that that kid has a fear. And that kid at a young age is looking for someone to address and to reassure that whatever the, the if it's afraid of the dog, let that it's gonna be all right or whatever the case is, and make sure let that- Let me, let me say go, this. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, I, I, I don't ever put No, no, mind. listen. No, I just wanna I'm say this, this. Little, Let me tell you about the little girl who is scared of the dog, right? I piss in the bed, but for hours I'm saying, somebody come get me, I'm scared. My head under the pillow because I won't look up in the dark because I'm, I'm fearful. So now I'm supposed to be right. tired all night. I so, can't go so to work. No, you if you'd have got your monkey ass yeah. up and come yeah. take me to the bathroom, it'd have yeah. been 10 minutes. Yeah, so I'm now I got to wake up out of my sleep and be fucked up at work because you scared why, of me. Why would you be fucked up for waking up? Because I'm tired because I got to wake up and come take yeah, me to the bathroom. Yeah, why you get up to go piss, wake me up and take me? So now I got to think about you and you me. time at the club. We go home and we fuck. Right. You get pregnant and I'm pregnant. I say, hey, I don't want a baby. I'm keeping my baby. No, 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 no. But you had a chance. You had an opportunity. We both had the obligation to not have a kid. I didn't. When you decided to fuck me without a condom and you let me fuck you without a condom, you just as goddamn responsible. But I could have said no. Yeah. And you could have said, baby, put a condom on or you ain't getting Oh, you could have said, baby, be responsible. 
We no. are you and one of us are responsible. No. And are you no. crazy? No. Then no. you can't just no. put it on me. Let me tell you something. It's on both of you. Let me tell you something. No, no, no. It's on the it's on the person who don't want a kid. If I'm a woman and I'm okay with so everything you fuck you want to give. That's not, listen to what I'm saying. We're using your scenario. You, and I'm using your listen, scenario. Yeah, you, you fucking with somebody. Whoever. You fucking with somebody. I made the bitch at the club. Right. Wait. If you made a bitch at a club and you want a fuck. fucker, right? Mm -hmm. She might be okay with getting it. She might, might want a baby. She might be trying to get pregnant, right? Mm -hmm. All right, but you the one that don't want a kid, so you got to do what you got to do to keep from having a kid. Regardless of the fact that it's still both our responsibility. No, 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 no. It, it only takes one to be so, responsible. So that's why I wish that I could change the law. Because if my, I, look, if I, if met, I, if I law, met a guy and said, we finna get down, but you gonna wear a condom, if he said he ain't, he can go the fuck on. Period, point blank. So whose responsibility is that? Yours. It only took mine. Right. Yeah. Now, if he, if I say, oh, don't use a condom, and he say, no, I'm not having sex without a condom, then he gonna get on, right? So yeah. now, that was his choice. So what I'm saying, it only takes so one person this. to so make a better this. decision. So understand this. You don't ask me for a condom, I don't ask you for a condom, you don't know me and I don't know you. Yeah, I, that ain't my life. I, I ain't never live like that. Hold so on. I, you know what but I'm saying? But they niggas live like that all the time. Right. Okay. That's how we live. But but people are different. No, some live like we, that, some don't. Yeah, every nigga, 90% of the niggas today are living like that. 90% of the niggas today is taking chances. Every Fuck just having a baby. Niggas is taking chances with AIDS. Hey, niggas act like AIDS and just... Got a fit, yeah. Yeah. Like AIDS and just, oh, AIDS, ain't no more AIDS. It's just, now you not get the vaccine shot. You get it from Corona and AIDS. You ain't got to worry about it. I'm just saying. All I'm saying, D, is this. My daughter right now, love her to death. I begged her mama. I said, baby girl, come on now. You know, we was having fun. This ain't what a nigga want. Nigga got a hold. Fuck that, I'm keeping my baby. She wanted a kid. At that point, I feel like, and I wish to God okay, I could play. You should have a right to not be included in the room. Don't be trying to give me no child support. Don't be trying I to. I agree. That is your motherfucking listen, child. Listen, I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree that if you get pregnant by somebody who didn't want to have a child, you trap them or it, it, whatever. I agree with that. Okay. But the difference of what I'm saying has not is not that. The difference is saying that. I got four kids, right? Mm -hmm. They all different. My my youngest daughter got whooped one time after she, besides the little shit, no stop, you know, growing up. As a teenager, one time I had to get on her ass, right? Mm -hmm. My sec, my oldest with a half, boy. With a half listen, swing, with a half swing. Listen, my, old, my youngest boy, my oldest boy, the nigga, look. You punched him. No, nah, that nigga is street. That nigga was, Knocking out 25 year olds when he was 14. He he GD, never grew up around games, grew up in a, he, he about that life. My my youngest son, mm -hmm. straight and narrow, hard working, go to school. My youngest daughter, I never even whooped them two kids because their personality did not warrant it. So what I'm saying, every kid don't need the same thing. Kids need something different from their parents. What one might need, the other one don't. I all got I'm one kid is, that I can give. All I'm saying is, I'm trying to live. I'm trying to keep the lights on. I'm trying to keep the heat on. I'm trying to keep the, the, the landlord from putting us out. I'm trying to do all this shit. Then don't have kids. You can't take care of them. Uh, uh, we, we, we've already said that, D. Right. We, we, we've but, so, but now that you got to deal with right it, now, it ain't the kid. It's not supposed to be the consequence of the kids because you ain't holding up. I'm not saying it's the consequence of the kid. Understand this. Hey, son. Uh -huh. Daddy time. You got homework, you need to get that shit done. Hey, because Daddy. understand this, hold mm -hmm. on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Understand this, this is your education. Daddy already got whatever education he got or don't got. Hold on, let me Wait, who, you. how is it? But what I said. The, the nigga three days old, I'm telling this little nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, look at look. Yeah. Let me look at this all this old changing diaper shit, you gonna have to learn how to use the bathroom because we ain't gonna be doing this shit. You understand me? Oh, so I ain't who finna be buying diapers and all that other type of shit. Nigga, them motherfuckers still be two dollars a box. You six months old. Yeah. Get up, crawl in bed. That's part. Nigga, you seventy. And yeah. don't fall in the 
Yeah, these motherfuckers died for seventy-two dollars a box. Nigga, who you gonna pay me back? All I'm saying, D, is this. Right, give him a bill when he gets 18. That, uh, for sure, nigga. I hope that you turn into something so, and make so it so you give me my money back. And that's like, 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 okay, for instance, you have kids that grow up, graduate out of high school. There's a lot of mentality. So, two, two falsehoods we live in, right? The first one, certain kind of parents tell their daughters, as long as you got a pussy, you better not be broke. So are you telling I agree. Me, listen. Please. I told him. But let me finish. So are you telling your daughter to hold herself out? No. I'm telling my daughter to not put yourself in a situation to where you have to hold what yourself What I'm out. saying is don't fuck around with a nigga that ain't going to help elevate you. Don't put yourself in a situation to where you But what I'm saying out. is you telling a teenage girl that and shit like that is not the truth. positive it's or the productive. Truth. But you can. I don't have time to be. What, what? I don't have time to be Listen, a Malcolm X and so, a Malcolm so, so, King. All so, but, that I, that. but those same words I can say to my daughter. I can say, Hey, you, 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 you have a period now. You can get pregnant. Don't be out here doing things. Blah blah blah. You need I to make sure. If, yeah. I, if I got the time to do that, and that's, and that's what my mind is. At. This is what I'm saying, though. The, all I'm saying is that you put the responsibility of, on the parent. When the parent themselves is just trying to live and survive and trying to figure out life. Because see, that's the thing about it. Listen. There is no rule on There is no rule book for life, D. And, and understand this. My mom and dad today, and you know mom, mm -hmm. my, my dad is my hero. Mm -hmm. But you know what they didn't believe in when I was growing up? Entrepreneurship. Yeah. I used to get a whooping for being an entrepreneur. Right, I Because they didn't understand that when they grew up, no, no, when they grew up, you went to school, you went and got you a job, I and you that. rolled it out to the hit until you rolled it out to the sunset. Right. That's all they knew. I, so when I'm coming to them, when I'm coming to them, like, hey, I'll get it, they're like, what the fuck? Hell no, you ain't doing that shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing the vision. Right. But because how they were raised, and I and, and, and until I got old enough to understand. I hated my dad. I thought my dad was the worstest man in the world. And I thought my mom was evil for allowing him to be evil to me. Look, and I, when I got old enough to say, man, this nigga is really my best friend look, like, on some real shit. So like me, like I never hated my mom, but I resented her. Okay. Because all the obstacles that I had to come, I felt that she made those things harder for me without being supportive, okay? I left school at 17. Wait, hold on. Listen, she wasn't my...